In 7.3, we're going to display arrays. We kind of did that before, but it doesn't really look that nice. So let's put some... Well, first of all, let's just naively go and just do a print on the entire array. Not on elements of the array, but the entire array. So I'm going to stout counts. And I'm just going to run this, and we'll see what happens. What in the world is that? Uh, this right here is an address in memory where this array lives. Now what happens whenever you try to print something, there's a built-in method into every object and it's called toString, and it defines how something is turned into a string. So in this case it's how an integer array is turned into a string. The default is very useless to us because all it does is tell you the memory address. And we're not doing computer architecture here, we're programming. So that memory address you see on the screen is a hexadecimal number. It's not very useful for us. So what we're going to do instead is loop through the array and print out the contents. So we have that right here. Let's make this look a bit nicer. We'll add a comma in between. There we go. Okay, so that's getting better. Maybe a comma space. So it looks, uh, our English is a little bit better. And at the very beginning, we'll do a, a square bracket that direction. And at the very end, we'll do a square bracket that direction. Oh, that should not be a print ln. That should be a print. That last one could be an, mm, last one just be a regular print. All right, I'll do a, an extra new line at the end end. All right, we're almost there, except there's one stupid extra comma. All right, why do we have an extra comma? Well, we print a comma out every time we print out, uh, every time that we print out an element. So there's a few ways to fix this. If we were dealing with a string, we could substring out everything except the last two. So that'd be one option, um, and this is commonly known as a fence post problem because when you run it, if you make a fence, you use one more post than the horizontal piece, um, and so there's four elements, but I need three commas. So think of the elements as fence posts, and then the commas connect them, so you don't need this extra connector out here. All right, so how do we get rid of that? There's a few ways to do it. I could go length minus one right there. Let's duplicate this, control shift down, alt shift down. I want to move it outside and not loop it. And what I'm going to do, it's going to stop when it hits counts.length minus one. I'm going to go ahead and put in counts.length, that value right there. So remember, this length is four, so length minus one is three. Element zero, one, two, Three. So that's the last element right there. And let's get a bit more efficient. I might as well combine those two together. There we go. So this is a nice little setup for printing an entire array. And wouldn't it be nice to have a method that does this? So here we go. Here's print array. And basically it's going to do exactly what we just did. They're using curly brackets. Um, which I probably should use too. All right, why are curly brackets? Well, I don't know why they're used, but they are used right here on this line 19, so we better use them right here. All right, let's recreate what's on the right side right there. So this is gonna be public static. I'm gonna make it string. And we're gonna create a string and then return it. I'm going to call it array to string, and it's going to take an integer array, and we'll just call it A. Save some typing there. Now I'm going to bring down all the code right here. And I don't know why I copied. Let's just shift it down much faster. All right, the only difference is instead of printing, I'm going to make a string. We'll call it, a lot of times result is really good because we're going to create something and then return it. So it's going to be the result that we're going to return. 
Uh, and then down below, instead of printing, we're going to concatenate. We're going to add in result itself plus, all right, what the heck is counts? Call this thing A, 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 A. So we're going to concatenate result with the next element and then a comma. And again, on the last line here, result equals result plus all this stuff. There we go. And then return result. All right, so it's going to return a string just as we promised it was going to return a string. And now in this print statement, so we're going to send it, we're going to call the array to string method and pass it counts. And then go ahead and run this, and there we go. So it prints out nicely. And if we want to make another array, uh, let's call it array. I'm feeling very creative. Um, 100, 400, 14,000. And then I'm going to duplicate that line, rate a string. All right, and we better Label this nicely. Okay, so we can print out any array that we want right here using our array to string method. Now, what's the difference between us, our method, and the print array? Well, the print does basically the same function, except uh, they print each one instead of returning, instead of creating a string and returning it. They also solve the fence post problem before the for loop, so they add the zero element in before the for loop, whereas I added the last element in after the for loop. Which way's right, which way's wrong? Well, my way's always right, so obviously the book's wrong. So there we go. Um, all right, so we'll do copying arrays next. 